Welcome to a blender tutorial. Um, I'm using 2.68. Um, 2.69 seems to work sporadically <laughs> for FPX um, exports. What I'm going to show you to do is um, shift C. I'm going to uh, show you a way to quickly reduce the polygon count of a pre-made model so that you can build your sets quickly um, using Blender. Um, it doesn't always work very well. It depends on the model. It depends on the complexity of the, the model. Um, the idea is to try not to have a, a 60,000 face doorknob, basically. So I use a site quite often um, for this and that. Um, to import things called archives3d.net. They use 3ds files, which Blender imports very well. So I picked one before. It's a sofa. So we'll uh, do that. Uh, we'll use that. So I'm gonna, we delete our dummy groups. We scale it down, point one. S.1, S.5, that's about right. Um, now I'm going to add our modifier. It's, it's the decimate tool that we need. And so we're going to copy it down here and we are going to save it as sofa there we go um now i've already picked some textures so i think i'm going to put that on now um there's two different um textures for this uh, the cloth and the trim so we'll call that cloth and trim <laughs> um, image diffuse okay um, now we are going to reduce our polygon count so this whole model is 60 2,000 faces. It's already triangulated. You know this because the n number of faces and triangles, it's it's the same. See, it's nicely triangulated. Unfortunately, it's a very, very polygon heavy model. So we're going to fix that. Now, I tried this before and I couldn't get it to hold its shape properly in FBX formats down, plus, down past 0.6 ratio. Um, that's not ideal, um, but for the back, that's what we're going to do. I, I, I don't know if I would use this model normally, but it's pretty, so I'm going to use it. Um, you want to try not to have too many holes in the mesh because it's going to make a mess when you import it. So that's about right. I can reduce this to probably 0.5 without problems, and I can reduce this to 0.5 without problems. And I'm going to apply it. And then I'm going to check the textures, which because we're using this site, they are kind enough to try and um, unwrap them for us. So we've already put the cloth material on. There it is. I don't know why it's doing that. That's a bug. UV map. Edit. Fabric. UV map. Edit. Wood. Okay. UV map. 
change this to the textured thing. And you'll see that the wood's not really facing the way you would think it would, so go click in this window, R90. Okay, so that's ready, we hope. Now we're going to join it all together. Just A or click them. I usually like to click a large piece of this. So I'm going to join it. And I'm going to recalculate the origin. Hopefully that means it won't export import sideways. Um, now I'm going to add a collision mesh. Y for ish. Um, how thick is that? I don't know. I guess that's okay. Oh, maybe not. Scale Z. Mark to. So, um, in FBX, they format for collision mesh. They don't want you to add a material. If this was an ASE export, you need to add a material but no image. I do not know why this is. I just found this out. Um, at UCX sofa. I'm talking. I can't think and talk at the same time. And type. And then I'm going to rename this mesh sofa. So there we are. Oh, I also have to triangulate our UCX. So go back into modifiers. Uncheck beauty subdivide. We don't care if it's beautiful. Um, anyhow, this is our thing. I'm going to move this in a bit here. Here. I will save this. And we will export it as an FBX file. We'll export it. Selected. Scale it times five. I don't know, every time I change these, I think I have it right, and the next time it doesn't work, so... Who knows? Z up. I'll try that. In the picture, it looks like the Z is up. So there we are, Sofa FBX five times. That's probably about right. Save this in case you want to go back and reprocess, but we're not going to. Now I'm going to boot up Movie Zoo Play. Okay, here we are inside Movie Zoo Play. Import sofa. We did everything right. Um, then it should work. Now, there's an option, leave objects ungrouped. I only have one, I don't know why, but it doesn't seem to work if you use leave object ungrouped. Technically, your mesh should only be one, one object anyways, but I've tried to experiment with it and, and like tried to import a bunch of cubes that weren't grouped and ask it to group it together and it crashed. And I, I tried to import a mesh with nothing else grouped to it like just one single mesh and had objects ungrouped and it crashed so I don't think it works this selection right now but we won't go there that's a bug so anyways we're going to sit here and import this and hope it worked Here's our sofa, which did not import the right way, but it's a sofa nonetheless. Um, so there we are. If I had uh, done, you know, something, I don't, I don't find the normal maps import properly in from Blender. I have to use a, another method. Anyhow, there's our sofa. Um, floated in the air. That's right, that's the way it is. Maybe it's the texture is a little too fine, I don't know. That's up to you to decide. Um, let's see how our proportioning is. Let's 
scale it up a wee bit. Uncheck can be stood on. There. Maybe that's too big now. Anyhow, there you can go mess with them. Okay, so that's how to lower the polygon count on an insanely high polygon count object to an only moderately insanely high polygon polygon count object. So you can get it in. Some objects work better than others. It really depends. If you use the ASE exporter, you can get away with a lot more. Um, except we're all busy being oogled by FBX, so I use that. Anyhow, hope that helped. Goodbye. Thank you.